life. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Welcome to Ross Patterson Revolution. We have an emergency show. That's why we had to bring D'Anthony Holloway in. Dan, why why was it so important that we come in today of all days? Yeah, so uh, it looks like the, the Clintons are killing people again. Um, people that have information that can bring down their empire. <laughs> I'm here for security reasons. Obviously. And, and data. Yeah, that's it. That's what I do in general. So you were worried about all three of us getting killed because I've said this for weeks now on the show that Epstein wouldn't make it three weeks I, that he would die before this trial. Something fucked up would happen. I yeah, I'm going to I'm going to start with with how this all happened for me, because we're recording on a, a fucking Saturday night, which is rare for us. We don't really do that to, to no. put it out for a Sunday episode. No, I should be eating chicken wings right now. Me too. You should be. And I, I, Dan I, shouldn't even be here. No. Mm. Dan should be. I'm not even supposed to be here today. Brian O'Halloran. Blammo. <laughs> <laughs> Using Jesse's lines. <laughs> blamo, Welcome blamo, to my blamo. show. Welcome to my show, Dan, and I'm really happy to have you. Uh, go, go ahead. No, but uh, so Friday night, I'm up late writing. You were sleeping, working on the third St. James Street James Don't masterpiece. Don't sleep shame me again. I'm not sleep shaming you, but it, w- it was late, and, and I was up working. Eight, eight I don't I don't typically get sidetracked uh, working at all. I usually have a, a very s- strict and rigid page count, and I try to achieve that and everything else. It would take a really massive story to get me sidetracked. That happened last night. It was right around 12.15 that there was a huge document dump on this Jeffrey Epstein thing. And I started leafing through it, looking at some of the highlights of who was in it, and it was shocking. So I, I just I couldn't stop reading it. And I was like, holy fucking shit. This was 12.15 at night. Um, and now at this point, I had read about uh, the prince, Prince Andrew. He was in there. Um, uh, Alan Dershowitz was in there, the attorney. Mm-hmm. Uh, From the OJ trial, if you don't remember. Correct. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's one of the biggest attorneys in the game. He does a lot of he's stuff. He's an academic guy now, but yeah. He's... Yeah, he used to do a lot of stuff for Fox News. Yeah. Um, everybody here and there back in the day. Um, uh, and then, you know, there was a, a dot, dot, dot at the end of the article that said, and a former president, but these, those documents are sealed, and then we'll find out when we get to trial. Right. The word former had a big ring in my ears for me where I was just like, okay, great. I've seen pictures with Epstein and Trump. Um, I've seen pictures with Epstein and Obama, Epstein and, and Bill Clinton. However, Stephen, Stephen Hawking, uh, that Stephen picture Hawking. came out this week. Yeah. Oh, like boy. I'm pretty sure Hawking didn't do anything cause he can't. Yeah, uh, no, oh, that's no. where you're wrong. Yeah. He, was he pressing the button. Oh, oh he left uh, his, uh, he left his wife for he the left nurse. His wife for the nurse. Poonhound dude. Yeah. 20 years in. <laughs> Left her how? Who, who, Did somebody who, push him? Divorced who? her. Yeah, but he can't walk. So he told her to fuck off. He told her to <laughs> fuck off. off. And, and he bounced. said, this little pinky is no longer yours, sweetheart. Is that what he was doing? Yeah. Yep. He's like, and we got to roll. Kind of you got to get on the we video show on Ross Patterson Revolution so you can see this is how I do it, too. Yeah. I right. learned it from Stephen Hawking. Yeah. You and it's it from just the like this. And then the girl just walks up to the side of the. She puts her clitoris, which is how I pronounce it. Correct. I'm retarded. Sure. Yep. Right on the edge. And then he just. Yep. That's all he can do. That's all he did. It's that. That's yep. all he did. Poon. Hound. Hound. That guy. Good for him, though. Yeah, that's what I okay. said. Okay. You know, his wife is like a super Jesus lady. Huh? Very religious. Do you know that? Uh, I didn't know. Wait, the last the wife? The new one? Oh, the first one. The one that was with him that whole time before. Oh, it was the oh, whole yeah, time yeah, yeah, took yeah. care of him, well, stayed with him no all that. Left her. Yep, no wonder yep, he yep, left yep, her. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> so, um, so that was, again, that was 12.15. Um, I, I ended up writing till about 2.30 in the morning, and uh, the phone starts blowing up at like 7.30. It's like, zzz, 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 on a Saturday, and you're like, motherfucker, nobody's texting me. A.M. Yeah, nobody's texting me. 
on Saturday a.m. at this at this time. Usually it's somebody from the night before from L.A. where you're like, all right, cool, man. You guys are up partying. Friends of mine, shit like that. And sure. I'm like, I'll get at you in the morning. Right. I didn't I didn't even bother to open up the phone till uh, <laughs> about eight, eight thirty is when the kids got up and were running around. And then I read that Jeffrey Epstein had hung himself. Um, again, I wasn't surprised. I was surprised at the timing of it because to my knowledge, he was on suicide watch. Mm hmm. Um, one, two. In what prison again? Sorry, sorry. Uh, he was up in uh, New York. So th this happened in Clinton, Clinton territory. Sure. This is where she was supposed to break the glass ceiling. Is that this was going to be her big uh, moment up there? The Clintons fucking own New York. There was yeah. even talk of her running for mayor of New York after the the presidency fell through, and uh, he's there. Um, supposed to be on suicide watch. There's cameras in the fucking cell. Now, as of, you know, 10 p.m. on Saturday night right now, we don't have any camera footage. But I, and I'll hold judgment on this only because I bitched about the Vegas shootings. Yeah, and it came out a year later. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, yeah I, but this one, there's already a rumor going around that the cameras were uh, Malfunction. malfunctioning. But I don't, I mean, that could be a rumor. I, I haven't seen that from any credible source yet. Um, right, right now, and to me, and I was, t I was talking to Jesse about this before we came over, I can't remember a story with a conspiracy element to it like this in a long time, maybe like Biggie Tupac, I guess. As a far conspiracy as like, like this? Yes. Of like who like did it, why, what really bigger. happened, blah, blah, blah. Because look, there is a chance. It's very slim in my opinion. But there is a chance that maybe he did hung, hang himself and he was just like, oh, fuck this shit. Yeah. Like they're taking down but all my friends. But even that is he was under such close watch i mean he was a right very important a vip prisoner if you will yeah that they needed to keep alive yes had to so whether he did it himself or whatever happened it's all there's all some something went wrong the other thing about being under suicide watch which we're also waiting to hear because there's there's been some other reports that he was taken off of suicide watch on okay. Thursday. Okay. No, perhaps. Again, Not nobody sure why knows. why that would happen, but yeah. Exactly. All of this is speculation at this point. We have no idea. Um, and there's a lot of crazy fucking conspiracies out there. A lot of fights on social media over who and why and what and all that stuff. But let's say he is on suicide watch. Sure. They take everything from you. Shoelaces, pillowcases, sheets, blankets. They put you in a, a, a special outfit so you couldn't tear that apart to, to fucking hang yourself. I don't see how that happens in a cell under suicide watch with a camera and nothing to hang yourself with. Yeah. What would be the explanation for that? Well, it sounds like from what I've been reading that he was taken off suicide watch maybe okay. last week or the week Why before. Why would he well, have it, been? It, yeah, because he just tried to kill himself he allegedly just tried to kill, yeah. the week before, right? Yeah. I don't know how long suicide watch lasts. But I would have to imagine it's more than a week where it's just like, hey, man, you've had a week off. I think you're good, right? I don't, I don't know what the MCC's, the Metro Correctional Facility that mm -hmm. he was in, MCC, I don't know what their policy is there. I don't know what any of these people's policy with regard to correctional facilities are. I would imagine in such a high-profile case that uh, it would be longer than a, a couple of days. And particularly... If, a, if there's an escalatory event like those documents getting published, that mm -hmm. would up security, not relax it. That's what I think. Yeah. Uh, the, the other thing that I thought about was, so these documents came out at, at 12.15 at night. Again, you dump on it. We've talked about this on Ross Patterson Revolution many, many times. And that's why I say, again, you always dump documents on a Friday night when mm -hmm. you're, you want to kind of bury stuff. Mm -hmm. it, with this, there's too many big people involved. And... If you're going to dump documents this sensitive that are going to implicate a prince, uh, a fucking scientist, uh, that Minsky guy was also in there, um, Bill Richardson, the governor of, of uh, New Mexico, New yeah. Mexico was in there. Um, um, you're going to do this name? on a Friday night and, and Glenn kind Dubin. of bury the story a so little bit or try to. Glenn Dubin, he's a lot of people. You're not going to recognize his name, but he ran Highbridge Capital. And that's one of the biggest capital investment firms under Chase, J.P. Morgan Chase. Mm -hmm. Like, 
So there, there's no limit to where this guy's reach was. Right. Like we had on Drink It Bros, we had Angie Eberhardt. She knew him. She's been to his house. Yeah. But I doubt, I mean, obviously that kind of person, she wouldn't know that he was up to some shit. No. Like there's no way that a person like her and her experience with Harvey Weinstein would have ever tolerated that. Because she came out almost immediately when, it, when the whole fucking Me Too shit started. She was like, yeah, I had a run in with Harvey too. Right. And she's terrified of the guy. Yeah. So like if you, you got to think that all these people who knew him, like Trump, for example, I just don't get that vibe from him, honestly. From oh, Trump? Trump? Yeah, no, I, don't I don't think that he... He doesn't seem... Like, he seems like a fucking knucklehead, but he doesn't seem like a creep. You know what I mean? I think he would have... I think his involvement was just sort of, at the very worst, uh, turning a blind eye to stuff that he maybe knew about or whatever, maybe. which it's not his responsibility at that point to he, really but, do but, anything, but... Uh, here, here's the thing about politics, Jesse, is... All of these people are looking for donors and money. Same with film, to be honest with you, and Harvey Weinstein. To tie all of this in, mm. I don't think people really ask about people's personal lives no. or fucking care no. about personal lives um, unless it involves you personally, right? We've heard for years uh, about this Lolita plane that exists, yeah. this Lolita island that exists. It was never tied to any one individual. We've, we've are finding out now that it's tied to, to Jeffrey Epstein and that he's, he had all of this shit, right? Uh, this was the thing that Alex Jones would rant about every other fucking week. Right. Ah, this is crazy. This is the Pizzagate, the whole fucking shit. They're all fucking underage women and they've got a, a whole ring and everything's fucking nuts. It's all crazy. Yeah. And fuck everybody. Yeah. Now this is coming true. Um, I feel bad for Alex Jones because this is his Super Bowl and he can't even celebrate it because he can't yeah. get on Twitter. I or, know. Or, or a show or whatever. Uh, there's a rumor that he's going to go live on his InfoWars channel tomorrow, which will be beyond epic, I'm sure. Right. But uh, uh, yeah, you, you, you look at it now and you're like, all right, maybe he was right. Maybe this was true. And, and to, the reason why I say this is so with Trump, if he was involved in this, I think instead of former president in this, these document dumps, it would have said current sitting president. Oh, I know, but everyone, uh, the left is just like going crazy. Well, the right it. is going crazy as well. So, and, and, and everybody's trying to figure out who the former president is. Dan, in my opinion, I think it, it we was, all know it's Bill Clinton, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, look, it's, we don't have, there, there aren't help. a whole lot of options. You right? know, it's it, Jimmy, Car Jimmy Carter's the only one alive. Well, they, it, it, w. it didn't say anything about the former president being alive being right? alive some no, of the other people that got accused yeah. are deceased now well like the science you know what you're right i didn't the think scientist about that. is deceased so yes. it could be it could be nixon i guess no that's too old for this it's got i would say because epstein has been around the, the only last, other guys since reagan, the 80s reagan carter yeah it, it wasn't uh uh lbj or nixon if it wasn't one of those two yeah not L, not lbj uh ford or nixon so, well, this is it. So Nixon, this is it. Ford, Carter, Reagan, Bush Senior, Clinton, Bush Jr. Right? Uh, yeah, I don't think it was W, but um, definitely wasn't Taft. Yeah, no, Taft. She's a big Taft <laughs> fan. Loves Taft as a president. Um, yeah, you're welcome for that, Dan. Uh, but you you bring up Oof. a good point with uh, f that. Yeah. For so for me reading it right, twelve fifteen on a Friday night mm -hmm. when I I read former president, I don't even entertain the dead ones. Well, we know for a fact that he and Clinton hung out. Exactly, because like would they keep saying former? He was he had ties to former President, Clint, you know, Clinton, yeah. Bill Clinton, and they keep saying that as well as someone in this thing or whatever. But Dan is correct. It you could leave the door open for somebody else because he's been big since the '80s. Around the '80s is when Jeffrey Epstein really became popping. Mm -hmm. Nobody really knows how he got his fortune. He was what he dropped out of high school. Um, and then built this banking empire somehow without a college degree and this other shit. Uh, relatively good looking dude. Kind of remind me of a Bourdainish type of dude. Yeah. Somebody who could hide in plain sight where if you saw him out or at a party, you'd be like, oh, that's a good looking older dude. There's no way he's got a, a sex harem of underage women around well, him. Well, I will say this. His accomplice that he started all of this wa with was a woman. And it so was a he, madam, right? I mean, mm. they're saying that she was his madam, but they started out in a romantic relationship. Her last name's Maxwell. 
um they started out in a romantic relationship and then i don't know what happened but eventually she turned into an employee slash whatever she was just around mm -hmm. him all the time and the first accuser to come out and actually open this whole case up in the mid 2000s was an accuser of her because she was the one that was kind of getting everybody. Yeah, apparently she had her own harem of sex slaves yeah. in addition to the women that Epstein was running. So wow. she, she had her own crew, I guess, which is kind of weird. The weirdest thing about and all this And it sort is, of funneled through her. Yes, yes. And so is she still alive? Yes, she's yeah. still alive. And uh, like I said, the first case was against her that okay. actually sealed all of these files. And so then they- That was a they, defamation suit that she filed in yeah. 2015, I believe. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. And yes, then accuser. Correct. Yep. And yeah. they've, they've been slowly building this case over time. Yes. I think but the, it started with her. She's still alive. I wonder. My only thing is like, I wonder now if they went back in, in some way, were able to get to her. The, the, the files were sealed because of her case. They were only going to be opened back up because of something against ah, Epstein. Yeah. Okay. So if there was another way to go after her, that's why I'm like, is she the next one that's going to be killed? Killed. And if she is, Oof. then we've got a real conspiracy on our hands. But I think that was really how he was able to do all of this is he had this British socialite that was in again hiding in plain sight. She was like environmentalist and was like, you know, out in the same way that he was, but a woman. And so he was able to get all of these other things, I think, through maybe. her. Maybe. It's third party validation. Like if two good looking human beings are hanging out together and you're like, oh, that guy's kind of fishy, but she likes him or she's kind of fishy, but yes. he likes her. It's like, yes, the mind rebels at the idea. Like we're, we're so there's of so just much, one cre creepy dude yeah. trying to there's like, so much cognitive dissonance in human life. Like the, the quiet guy next door. That's always the fucking mass murder or whatever. Everybody's like, no, there's no way that guy did that. Right. But yeah. He totally did it. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's the case here. Like it's because of the people he surrounded himself by people are like, there's no way there's no way there's no yeah. way. And her too though. But so they were these two like people in power, like people in general, are weird. We all have our kinks. Mm -hmm. And then you get that amount of power where you can exercise them against other people's will sometimes. What's your, you're used what's to being your a kink? Uh, my like, kink what's the is weirdest? trying to get murdered by blonde chicks with big fake titties. Perfect. Yeah. Love um, it. Yeah. <clears throat> the weirdest thing I've heard of out of all this is Prince Andrew. Uh, well, hey, did you see the photos? So they had photos of, of Prince Andrew. Um, and and the, by the way, the, the madam was in the background of this photo. Mm. The chick that he's with... I mean, yes, she's, it's, it's questionable. I don't know if that girl's 18 or not. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, and that's, that's a tough, point. that's, a that's tough. not the weird part with him. So one of the, one of the accusers here, uh, says that he was using uh, a puppet to touch her. Like he would touch her tits mm -hmm. and then he would grab the puppet and use the puppet to touch her tits. Oh, ah, puppet puppetry. He was in a puppetry. Yeah. So Everybody's got a weird creepy. thing. That's, uh, that's. That guy has killed women before. If that story For is true, sure. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not even. I'm not even kidding. If that I, guy, if this is true, either. and he uses a puppet on a woman like that, I guarantee you, he has killed women before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think the puppet's made out of somebody else's. Skin. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. This is not a joke. That's no. like that's one of those things like posing and and uh, manipulating other people's bodies and stuff like that. That is. It's one of the things you look for when you're trying to find a serial killer. Really? Yes. And bedwetting and yeah, mommy bed wedding, issues. Mommy issues, stuff like that. Like there's a whole list of yeah. these things. And if you, if you chip off two or three of them, you're like, that person is mm -hmm. almost definitely a serial killer. And the, the, the date on that, the statistical chance of them being one is so goddamn high. I would not over. When did you it. quit wetting the, wet in the bed? Uh, three days ago. 31, yeah. yeah. 31, 31, 31 yeah. years old. Uh, that's when I stopped. But that was voluntary. I mean, um, I've pissed the bed as an adult, but it was because I was drunk and I stood over the bed and pissed onto it, standing up. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, not no, not sleeping. the same. Sure, yeah, sure, yeah, sure, yeah, sure, no, sure, 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 sure. I don't have incontinence or anything like that. It's stupid. Yeah, no, God, that's dumb. But, but with this, by the way, so the, the Prince Andrew thing came out last night. The, the puppetry thing is new. Yeah. That did not come I, out until today. I want to, I want to. So are they still dumping, they must be still dumping documents. Well, they're still sorting through it. There was 2,000 documents. Dumped, yeah, there was right? 2,000 pages last night. Yeah. You're right. So that's a lot of stuff to sort through. So what I, what I got, the handful that I got was obviously picked over by a reporter who was looking for probably the highlights to get the first story mm -hmm. out. That's what I read last night. Um, the puppetry thing though is, is next level. I'm almost not even mad at that. Um, 
because that's it, that's, so gross. Well, it's, Why is it's that almost so like gross? Like it's, it's so much like grosser. It's almost like him not doing it. It's almost like the puppets doing it. Which Jesse. is so <laughs> much more disgusting. It's transference. That's what that's called. Um, it's. I'm telling you. You heard it here first, folks. Prince Andrew has killed women. Yep. I'm telling you. I I fucking guarantee you. This guy has killed women. Really? Yes. Because of this. Yep. Wow. I, look, I hope it's true. You know, another funny thing that I well, I mean, I don't that I read today I'm with women, but is, uh, well, you know, another, I hope it's true I am, <laughs> for your I'm, sake, Dan. I know, I know you love a good murder, brother. <laughs> I, well, I do. Uh, I'm not gonna lie about it. So here, here are I three. Do. Here are some books that uh, that uh, Jeffrey Epstein ordered from Amazon. You ready for this? Please. Mm-hmm. Like this is real. This is not. This, it sound, all this sounds so goddamn crazy that I feel like I need to say, hey, this is this part's real. Uh, yeah, yeah. So here are two books that he ordered. One is SM101, a realistic introduction, a workbook for erotic slaves and their owners. That's one. Jeez. Yep. Just let me get the second one. Then Go you can ahead. Respond. The second one is Slavecraft, colon, Roadmaps for Erotic Servitude. Wow. Hey, where, where do you get this? Amazon? Amazon, yeah. Apparently is where you can really? buy these books. I'm assuming it's about... You're adjusting your bra, Jesse. Yeah, she's is getting, there any, she's any reason for that? Are you thinking about the puppet? I think or? Jesse's killed some women as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeez, Jesse. I'll put a Kermit on you later if that's what you're into, you know? <laughs> I'll Jim Henson you up real quick if that's what you need. Oh, boy. So yeah. all, all of these are dropping right now, like all of these tidbits, because f- yeah. people are finally able to comb through all this shit. Because, again, 2,000 pages is a lot to dump. Yep. Man. Um. All right, so let me ask you this. Well, the thing is, like, with him, his thing was just massage. No. Right? And then he would get... Well, he, he had all kinds of stuff going on. He said that he... Things he, for other people. But his thing... No, it, it no, was not he, massages. He said he needed to come three times a day. Three times a day. He wanted his penis frozen after he died. And he wanted to, like... He is uh, dead now. So he wanted to seed... Like, we talked about this yes. in Drink It Bros. He wanted to fucking, like, see the, the world. 20 with women at one time, yeah. yes, in, in his own resort. And he wanted 20 pregnant women on his own resort. Um, the name of that resort was called the Zorro Resort. And a lot of people had flown down there. Yeah. And I think a lot of these people were uh, going to eventually be outed, especially in today's world with WikiLeaks and all that other bullshit. Somebody's going to go and try to get this, right? Uh, yeah, look... Um, if I'm Russia right now, I'm doing everything I can to get my hands yep. on these documents to use it against yep. other people. Democrats. Anybody. It doesn't yeah. matter. Any it doesn't I mean, they don't give a shit about Republican or Democrats. That's true. No. They, That's true. they just right. want to fuck shit up. Like yeah. they if they if there's stuff about Trump in there, if there's stuff about any Republican in there, they're gonna want that too. Because they can use it to leverage them. Um so here's here's an interesting question. If you're a fucking a candidate or or legislator or business person out there right now and you know like Hey man, I went to his fucking place and I fucked a girl. She looked like she was 18, but I don't know. You got to get out ahead of it. You got to come out right now and say, Hey, I don't know if I did something wrong back then. I didn't know if it was wrong or not. Cause I didn't know how old she was. Sure. I just assumed that this guy who had friends like Bill Clinton and Donald Trump probably wasn't trafficking and raping underage women. And I fucked this girl there one time. I don't know how old she was. I don't even know who she is. So you don't think the people that fuck chicks there knew exactly what they were doing? No. And I have a I have a story about this. Um, Look, that, if they were running, if Epstein and Maxwell were there. running the show properly, then no one would know what was going on. Correct. Like it would just be like any other fucking like. I, I, look, if Richard Branson invited Ross and I over to his private island for the weekend, sure. first you wouldn't let him go because you know exactly what would happen there. <laughs> yeah. But none of us would assume that Richard Branson was holding them hostage. Yeah. Right. He would just. I would just think. And that I guarantee they you, had... if you go to his private island, there's probably fucking whores all over the place there. True. Because he's Richard goddamn Branson, right? Exactly. Right. But you wouldn't think, like, he lives his life so in the open like that, and Epstein clearly did as well. All these powerful people knew he was fucking banging whores and doing drugs all the time. So, like, you, you assume, like, oh, the guy's so casual about doing it. Of course he's not doing anything, like, murderously wrong. Right. So I'll, 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 I have a, I'll tell a crazy story then. Um, there was a, a, I'm not going to say who it was in Hollywood. Uh, it was a birthday party uh, at the at the W Hotel, I'll say the, the hotel, it was at the W Hotel, and uh, the biggest of the biggest people were there, and on, on one floor, they had the entire floor rented out, and in each room, the door was open, and there was a prostitute in every single room on an entire floor, and anyone could go up there and fuck these girls if they wanted to, right? Victimless crime. 
Well, well, here's the thing. So we say that now, right? Yeah. But nobody's checking to, to... To make sure that they're actually working sex workers and they're not fucking Or checking slaves. IDs. Yeah. Nobody's checking IDs going up to these right. hotel rooms and all this other shit. Yeah, and if it's Eastern and Northern European women that speak broken English, our culture is so different. Like, look, if some 16-year-old chick here tried to hook up with me, I would know immediately that she was 16. <laughs> yeah. Just because of the, the way she talks... If she was 22, you'd be like, are you 16? Yeah. Yeah, these days. And I would, she would yeah. call you Grandpa Dan. <laughs> well, that's, I'm, call you Grandpa that's Dan, my yeah. kink, so it's yeah. fine. Uh, <laughs> it's my uh, other No, but kink. you would know just based on colloquial language. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? You would know. But if it's someone that, d- that speaks broken English or something, you, you may not know. Yeah. You may not know what a 16-year-old Swedish girl looks like. The, the other crazy part about this story, Jesse, is uh-huh. d- downstairs in the, the bar area and the restaurant. And I thought you else. were talking about her vagina. No. No. I said, I said, Virginia. the downstairs in the bar area. Yeah, the downstairs, that's what I call it. The downstairs in the bar area and the basement. Yeah. yeah the bar areas, uh, well, the, the taints around the, the, back, the basements yeah. around the back. But, uh, the, the craziest thing about this is at, at, at that hotel party for this, this guy's birthday, normal dinner downstairs, mm-hmm. couples, wives, no one was knew what was going on upstairs. Like, uh, yeah. and, I mean, it was, it, it was crazy. And look, you, you don't know, who's up there and what age they are. And again, you're, nobody's checking IDs for this type of shit. Uh, I got, I didn't get to enjoy the fun, um, which still saddens me, obviously. Sure. As a young man. Right. Um, but, uh, you know, somebody pulled me out of there to go drive them home because they were too fucked up and uh, <laughs> really blew my shot, you know? Yeah. No, but, but, you know, God knows how many people went up there and, and did fucking all the crazy shit they wanted to. Right. Um, nobody was checking IDs. Nobody's asking what country they're from, all this other shit, right? Who's to say that, that some of these people going down there, you know, maybe knew or maybe didn't know? I don't know what the rules were, I think, unless this entire thing gets exposed for what it is. Yeah. Who knows what they were told or what they were saying or like, hey, man, come down and do this business deal, right? Yeah. We've got all these prostitutes from all over the world. No big deal. You can fuck these girls yeah. and move on with your life. I mean, people listen. People do that in Dubai all the time. All the time. We just talked to a... Eddie F, stand-up comedian, Eddie yeah. F, earlier, and he was talking about Dubai. I've had, I have tons of friends, a lot of business, a lot of attorneys over there, a lot of military dudes and, and intelligence uh, operators fuck around in Dubai, and there's all kinds of wild shit that goes on there. And, I mean, look, if somebody whips out a fucking Swedish or Chinese ID, like, and it's, I don't even know how to read the numbers on there. Right. I mean, in Sweden, it would be an actual number, but in China, it's not. It's a symbol. I'm like, oh, I guess she's fucking 21. I mean, who the fuck knows, right? Yeah. Like, you don't know. The one, the one thing I will say is, if Alex Jones is correct with the Lolita plane, and it looks like it's starting to become more and more likely that he is, you, I think you would know on that, right? You're on a private jet. You're flying around in America. You got these fucking young girls on there. And all this fucked up shit is going on. I think you would know on that. I think if you were best friends with Jeffrey Epstein, you would also know what the fuck is going on at this point. Well, I mean, some of the conversations he was having with people about having his penis preserved and wanting to uh, uh, seed 20 women, women at the, 20 same, women time, at the yeah. same time. Like that's if somebody said that to me, I would laugh. And if they looked at me seriously after I started laughing, I'd be like, I am not friends with you anymore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's fucked up. I'm going to go ahead and get the fuck out of here, I yeah. think. Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, look. Um, like I said, there's a lot of cognitive dissonance involved in, hu- in generally in human life. Like, we want to believe the best about people. Um, but I don't know, man. I don't know how you could go that. Like, I've never had a person in my life dupe me for that long. Where I just didn't know that they were fucked. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I just don't know what that feels like. So, who knows? What man. about you? Have you had someone dupe me for yeah. that long? We, aside from this yeah, piece aside of from, shit. from me, obviously. Hey, er. Yeah. Um, no. In my life? Uh huh. No. But I think that if you want, you know, if you don't want to, to know, then you won't. Do you know what I mean? I, I think you, I think they I think the people that knew didn't know whatever maybe had an inkling didn't want to really know. There was somebody that didn't I want knew. to find out. There was somebody that I knew. Um, I would say I was friendly with him, but not he wasn't a close friend of mine. And I found out he was doing some shit with somebody who was underage, and mm-hmm. I was like, "Hey, man, you're fucked up. This is fucked up." And I told the rest of our friends, and. 
immediately extricated this this motherfucker uh, like out of the group. Mm-hmm. But I will say for this two two or three years, I didn't know. I I had no idea what was going on behind closed doors. And right. I think some of these people that are going through this too were probably like, ah, oh, shit. Because all these pictures keep popping up. And when you're this fucking rich, right? Politics needs money all the time. Movies need money all the time. Uh, I, I think that's why nobody ever said shit about Weinstein all these years. But it's Everybody the same, knew. It's the same sort of deal. Yeah. Where you, you maybe think something's going on, but the power element of it is going to keep you from saying anything. So the only person that can either be an accuser or someone that is more powerful than him. And who is that? That isn't in his doing what he was into. Do you know what I'm saying? So the weird thing is when when you're a billionaire, right? You have more money than most presidents, almost every one of them, except for Trump, probably. Right. Well, I think he's oversold how much he's actually worth, but it looks like he's worth about two or three billion. Okay. And and let's say he has, right. But that's two two or three billion is what the, that's the low ball estimate. So yeah, he's worth, he's a billionaire for sure. Right. So, but, but let's look at the past presidents. Okay. Yeah. You got uh, Obama. Who d- he didn't have that kind of money. He didn't have any money. No. I think he was worth like $8 million when he came in. And he that was had, because of the book success. Uh, what is it? Something from my father or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, that, I mean, that book killed and he made a, like $20 million, I think it sold. So he, he made his money the old-fashioned way. Yeah. Like just selling a piece of art. Bush, obviously the Bush family, uh, they ha- they've had money for a long time. Prescott was a big oil guy. That's H.W.'s dad. Right. Um, they've been around for quite some time, and they've been involved in government for quite some time as well on levels that would seem like if you... Almost 50 years, because it dates back to JFK. Well... For the Bush family. No, no, no. Prescott was involved in government long before H.W., oh, really? yeah. Okay. Uh, there's actually... <clears throat> there's this book out there called uh, the... God damn it, I can't remember the name, but like the America's 50 Families, and the Rodham <clears throat> family's in it. Um, the Bush family, uh, what's her name? Barbara's family. What was Barbara's, Babs. What was Barbara's maiden name? Barbara Bush's maiden name? Uh, I think it was just Babs. It was just one word or kind of like uh, Cher Prince, you know? Bush. That, that was Babs. N-E-E. Classic Babs. It's gonna, by the way, it's going to take Jesse forever since you're, you're uh, a, yeah, a guest Pierce. on this show. The Pierce yeah. family. Yeah. So uh, Franklin Pierce like the 26th president or whatever he was. Yeah. That's Bush's great, 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 great grandfather. Really? Yeah. Nobody know that. knows that. He was, uh, I think Nathaniel Hawthorne was his college roommate and he, Hawthorne wrote all of his fucking campaign shit. I think that was how it went down. No shit. Super weird. So these families, it's the 50 families of America or some shit like that. It came out in the 30s, but it lists all these people that are still involved in politics today. It's crazy shit. Man. It's like a cabal almost. Yeah. But it's not really, it's not a conspiracy. They're just, it's how it works. Name, sure. Name recognition and old money. That's how you get into politics. But, but the point that I'm making here is you need a fucking billionaire in politics. You need someone to finance and bankroll all oh, of yeah. your shit. Therefore, a lot of people are going to look the other way. Same with Weinstein. You're going to look the other way in Hollywood where you're like, yo, that motherfucker wins Oscars, dude. But that was a power thing too. So the people... Who, who was more powerful than him that could say something? Do you know what I'm saying? Right. So who was more powerful than Epstein that would even... There's not a lot of people on that list. So that's the main issue, I feel, yeah. where I think people did know that stuff was going on, right? Because if you aren't involved in it, if you don't like it and you see it, that's you're going to be think. like, but your power level is somewhere where you can't actually say anything because you'll either get squashed or it'll, it won't be received at all. Or when you're on that power level, you expect that you can get away with it. Well, that, that brings up other questions, though. So let's say you're a crusader. You're one of these people that got into politics. Let, let's say Crenshaw, for example. Yeah, uh, Dan Crenshaw. Because you believe in what you're doing. You want to you wanna promote your tribe, which is military veterans. You're a conservative, or it doesn't matter what your background is, really, but... You get into politics for that reason. You get into it, and he's a congressman. That means you have to run for office every two years, forever, as long as you want to be a congressman. Mm-hmm. So that means you can govern for about four to six months until you go back on the campaign trail. Correct. It's fucked. Yes. Like, our current system for Congress is completely fucked. Yeah, and Crenshaw's going through heat now for what he said about the red flag laws and yeah, all Yeah, I mean, that that's, shit. that's a problem, too, by the way. If you guys are pissed off about what Crenshaw said, cor- correct him. Don't, don't fucking sell him. Don't... don't 
cast him overboard be like hey you're wrong or if you think he's wrong tell him why yeah he's also new to politics he's trying to have a conversation yeah. with the public right there and his job is to represent you i'm not defending the guy there's a lot of stuff he said that i think is really stupid but he's a young politician that's what's going to happen at any rate um let's say you're one of those crusaders who gets into it for the right reason and that is a lot of politicians i know a lot of them because i've worked in politics people that get in and they're like fuck all this big money big government bullshit I'm just going to do my job. It doesn't really work that way. No, they because, eventually have to. Yeah, you have to yeah. go. You have to start playing ball at some point. Yeah. So how do you, at what point do you reconcile, hey, this guy's a total piece of shit, and they're like these big business people, like the Koch brothers, for example, have, and Halliburton and all these other companies that have profiteered on war and, and poverty in the U.S. Mm -hmm. over the last 20 years, <clears throat> but they're funding your campaign, and you're getting a lot of other shit done because of that. Like, how do you, if you say no, you're not going to be in office because they will come after you. Of course. And money wins elections. Yes. So if you're in that position, what do you do? Because it's going to happen to everybody at some point. You know, I, look, man, I, I've said this before on, on, on Ross Patterson Revolution. Uh, even in, in funding films, sometimes you know you're taking money from people, princes, and all that other bullshit that yeah. are trying to either funnel it out of their country or whatever, and uh, you make a decision of how dirty is the money where you're yeah. like, all right, great. It's oil, and you're trying to hide it. That's fine. Uh, as long as you're not doing anything harmful with it, you know, sexually or anything else, like, that's fine. But yes, people are faced with these decisions every single day, uh, in particular politicians, and Man, I, I, my, my guess with all of this is probably a lot of people knew and they turned a blind eye because he was so fucking rich and he was given so much money. Same with the Koch brothers, right? Uh, the Koch brothers, wasn't there some crazy stat that they had bankrolled every Republican winner except for Trump like of, yeah. for the last 40 or 50 years? Yeah, they're, they're a big part of the anti-labor movement, um, which is whatever, I mean... We're not going to get into a political discussion about fucking unions right now, but um, they, they, this is what they were doing. And they were big backers of Scott Walker, the governor of Wisconsin, mm -hmm. who, like, with Act 10, destroyed labor unions there, basically. Right. Um, and they've done it in other states as well. I think Oklahoma and a couple of other ones. They're bigger than, so they own Tesoro, the oil company Tesoro. One of the, it's one of the biggest oil companies Massive. in the United yeah. States. Um, <clears throat> so what they did was they hired their attorneys to write quote-unquote model legislation. They wrote bills, and then they handed it to senators and congressmen and told them to go fucking push that bill. That is the most corrupt shit that anybody could ever do. Like, literally, you're a rich person. You say, hey, you know what? I'm going to write a fucking piece of legislation that benefits me and fucks everybody else over. And by everybody else, I don't mean other oil companies. I mean human beings in the United States. Right and the United States at large, and our foreign policy. But that's lobbyists. That, I mean, that's that what, is exactly what I think lobbyists should be outlawed. That's sort of why. K Street, we need to drop a fucking, just uh, a big net around those guys, pick them up, and then drop them in the middle, I don't know, of Jurassic Park, and to see what happens. But funding should be made public, and then you could get rid of shit like this. Yeah. Um, Although, if you do that, and you allow self-funded campaigns, then only rich people will be able mm -hmm. to run for office. Yeah. So th that's not really a solution either. Or you yeah. raise money from the public and, you know. You, but it doesn't work that way. I mean, you, you have to over, you have, there's so much that would have to happen. You have to overturn Citizens United so that private businesses can't start fucking PACs like 501c3s and c6s and to start spending indefinite amounts of money that they don't even have to report oh don't get me wrong we're we're light years away from that happening it'll we're never just, happen no it'll it, never happen it, it, all, it all sounds great in theory yeah um but so, the point of all that is is that all these people are deeply entrenched in american politics and there's no getting them out of it and if you're a, if you're a politician you have to say like holy shit it's like being uh it's like that uh from uh clerks two or is it one or two where he's talking about being a contractor on the death star like yeah i mean i know vader's a bad guy but i gotta fucking put food on the table oh, right? yeah like at what point do you does your brain rebel and just like you know what fuck that guy it never happened for most people in the united states particularly people who work in politics and it's not going to happen that's why i don't vote i vote for myself in every single election and you've never won uh, which is nice not yet uh jesse let me, let me ask you this what, what do you genuinely think happened here with all of this with because you're I, you're you're usually the voice of reason like 
I'll go off the rails on shit. Right. I did. I certainly did, and I admitted it with the with the Vegas shootings. Right. I th- I thought that was a massive conspiracy. Right. Because there was no footage. They wouldn't show us any goddamn tapes. And then a year later, it all pops up. And I was, do I, think, I was wrong and I apologize on air. Do I think that somebody killed him? Yes. No. You think he, so you think he did this himself? Mm-hmm. And it just happened to be on this day? Happened to be uh, after what, this document dump? Why is the dump. day? Oh, the day is... So it was it significant was, because it was about four hours after the document dump, five hours. So they've got him dead at what? Six thirty eight in the morning. He uh, seven o'clock is when they found him around seven is what they said. And then they immediately rushed him to the hospital. He didn't get pronounced until later, but he was probably dead when they walked in there. Yeah. And, and you saw the photos because yeah, I, he's I, dead on the gurney. He's not like they're trying to give him uh, oxygen, but like he's there's ligature marks around the back of his ears and mm-hmm. neck. And then his cheeks are uh, are scratched and puffed. That means like he was choked out for a minute. Like it was enough to cause contusions on his face and uh, edemas and shit like that. He's, so it looked like he a, was, like he a was genuine dead. hanging to you he was in those dead photos. There. Yeah, I mean, you could, you, I'd have to see his hands and arms to see if there were defensive wounds or anything. Uh-huh. But that might not even be enough, right? Because if he, somebody took him from behind, I think he killed himself for sure. But I think there was some motivation externally that caused that to happen. He wouldn't just kill himself. Like somebody like he went. He went this far. And then all of a sudden, these documents came out, and three hours later, look. Well, did he try and kill himself before? He did. He yes. did a month ago. Yeah. Yeah. But so, people, people don't wait. Two weeks ago. People don't wait. That's not how it works. Like I, I was just talking to a friend of mine uh, a second ago, and I'll read what she said. She she works in a correctional facility in Texas. Um, so in Texas, Suicide Watch put someone in a padded room with only a smock and a blanket. And the blanket you can't turn into a fucking noose. There's no way. It's too thick. Uh, and the smock is what you were referring to earlier. It's Correct, not yeah. something that you could turn into. Anyways, um, there are, they get checked every 10 minutes, basically. Mm-hmm. And if they get, like, if they try anything at all or don't respond immediately or whatever the fucking case is, then all that other shit gets taken away too and they just get left in a padded room by themselves. So I don't know how he killed himself. We'll see if that video comes through. Um, I just don't think that it's... Uh, Arthur Conan Doyle, the guy that wrote Sherlock Holmes, mm-hmm. used to say, if you remove all the shit that doesn't make sense, right, then whatever's left, no matter how implausible, has to be the truth. So I think that uh, it doesn't make sense that he would all of a sudden just kill himself. It's, it's too obvious three hours after this data dump happens. Yeah, okay. it, it doesn't make sense to me. Like he, he, wouldn't, and he wouldn't have known unless somebody told him Inside of the prison, he That's doesn't have a TV. I mean. he, and he, doesn't he, he doesn't have a TV. He doesn't have any roommates. He doesn't have any cellmates. Right. And That's why I think somebody why, and the guards, the guards don't give a shit. Why would they tell him, "Hey, man, the fucking do- there was a document dump. N- nobody's gonna fucking no, say no that one to would him. be even talking to him at twelve fifteen in the morning." No, I mean, look, do you we, get calls and stuff? No, no, not when you're in protective no custody. Okay, like that, so no. no, so my my guess is what happened is some guard got information from somebody, passed it to him, and then he killed himself. Like somebody, and I wouldn't say, everybody's quick to say it's the Clintons because they've been involved in a bunch of messy shit before, but there's so many goddamn people on this list that you don't know who the fuck it could have been. I mean, Prince Andrew is over here fucking rocking Pinocchio dolls, touching girls' nipples with them. Yeah. Like, that dude kills women. I was it a Pinocchio doll? I don't know, but it would be okay. great. It would be great if it was. What if it was a doll of himself and he was talking but in a higher I'd be okay with that. My brain doesn't work like that, as you know, in because conspiracy world i thought you were going to say you're not into puppets well that too uh definitely not i've tried if to introduce them into the bedroom there's, a, yeah, there's, not not a there's literally situation. a cutout of brendan fraser right over there you're telling me you're not into that shit <laughs> no fuck no, off. Not at all. i will be taking it home <laughs> um my brain doesn't work like that so i just go okay like how how could that possibly happen that somebody killed him no, I think he killed himself. He killed himself. And I think it was because somebody told him, hey, if you do X, we'll do Y. That's what I think. If you do what? If you kill yourself right now, we're going to not do whatever. To yeah. your family or Your to family whoever. or someone else. The guard said, okay, so the guard got information from somebody. Correct. Look, look Jesse, mm-hmm. prisons have a fuck ton of drugs in them. And right. it's not because all the prison guards are fucking on the level. It's because of Absolutely. the opposite of that. Absolutely. And I'm telling you, 
in 15 or 20 years, one of these guards is going to get a fucking uh, uh, nice inheritance from a long lost uncle they didn't know they had. But who, what family does Epstein have that he gives a fuck about? I don't know. I don't think anybody. But everybody's got a pressure point. Yes. Everyone does. Everyone does. And with this many powerful people around, because I'm with you on this one, with this many powerful people around, it could have been anyone. Yeah. And and if they got the message sent through there, um, and again, you pay off a guard, right? Yeah. I don't know what that that position pays. But it's about like 50, 60 K a year, maybe. And it sucks. It, yeah. Cause we've had, we've had a couple of prison guards on the show. And then after, yeah. after the show, they're like, yo, our job fucking sucks. Yeah. Um, you give them a, a, a nice bump and you look the other way for this. Yeah. Cause w- what's, what's, you know, they're, they're talking about uh bar is going to do something. I'm appalled. All this shit. What the fuck are you going to do? Unless well, you, you look at this footage and there's yeah. proof that somebody else came in this cell and fucking killed him. What are you going to do? Um, he's gonna he's gonna rake these guards over the coals, like they're gonna fucking interrogate the shit out of them. I'm sure, but um, but who knows if they'll crack or not? I mean, if look, there's video evidence of Epstein just hanging himself by himself, that's it. It lives and dies in there, and that's it. that that's it. There's no volume, right? You um, can't I, hear what's it depends. going on. There's yeah, no audio. There's, there's there's audio, but audio malfunctions a lot more than video does in those kind of scenarios. For a variety of reasons, mostly uh, connections, unless they're hardlined in or something like that. If it's like Wi-Fi audio or anything like that, I mean, in a jail, it's all concrete and steel, right? So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Uh, I I think it's un unlikely that the Clintons would take a shot at them. They're too high profile now. But if I'm one of these lower level people, like well, I, I say lower level, but I mean less suspicious people, like uh, Prince Andrew, I gotta I have to think that. If I if if I'm have a bunch of money and I'm gonna pay somebody off to whack this dude, everybody in the U.S. right now thinks it was the Clintons. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. Yes. You, and whoever actually did it is gonna get away with it. Yeah, this is my guess. You don't think they all got together on an email or something and did a pot? No, no. Like, um, no kind of put their money together. It was you know, definitely not a group text. I'm, I'm not a. I'm not one of those. I am not a conspiracy theorist at all. I'm really Me not. Dan is not. Yeah, but I, I, you're the only. Are you I the only one? Yeah. Absolutely. I I'm enjoy not. It. So I'm I want not, to do the show. Tonight. And I don't typically believe in cabals like these secret organizations that influence things. But now we know for a fact that one exists, right? The family or the foundation or whatever yes. the fuck you want to call it. Have you True. seen this shit mm-hmm. on Netflix? This documentary, the the family is it, it's called, and it's these uh, this dude Doug Coe, and his his uh, what do you call it mentor was the guy that started uh, Goodwill, like where you give clothes away yeah. and we and they buy them. It's where you buy all your clothes. So uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's this fucking uh, this Norwegian dude that immigrated here, started Goodwill, and then he was like, you know what, we need to get involved with people of power in politics, and they have influence. Like this is the guy that met with Doug Coe is the guy that met with uh, with uh, fucking what's his name from Libya, Gaddafi. Gaddafi. Like he met with Gaddafi's team, and that's like a week after that, Gaddafi gave up fucking his nukes change his whole policy towards the U.S. and all this other shit. These people have enormous power, and nobody knows why. Like, all the people that are involved in it, including the people on the periphery, are like, we don't understand why people are listening to what this guy says. Because apparently all he does is he, he's dead now. He just died in 2018, I think. Is that right? Mm-hmm. So apparently all he ever did was he would show up with these, like, massive world leaders, like kings of countries and, and all over the world, and just be like, hey, you know what? Uh, I know you're doing a lot of fucked up shit here. We're not here to judge you. I just want to let you know that we love you and Jesus loves you. And that's it. That's all it's he would like say. Allegedly. Crazy Christian. That's all he would say. And then immediately, need. immediately people would start changing the shit that they were doing. Like there's all these rifts over the last 50 years uh, where he's made massive foreign policy moves for the United States. And it's crazy as shit, dude. There's something called C Street in Washington, D.C. I don't yeah. know if it still exists or not. But there was a place there that... And Mark Sanford mentioned it when he fell, when he got caught with all his bullshit. Like, it's this place where senators and congressmen and all these other people, it's like a fucking retreat. It's like a men's home. It's like a fucking, like a health club. Oh, yeah, like yeah, Like those yeah. things back yeah. in the day. Yeah. And the guys... There used to be one in New York back in the day. Yeah. And these guys are paying, these senators and congressmen are paying $600 a month to stay there, free rent, or free uh, food, all this other stuff. Mm-hmm. Like they're subsidizing congressmen and all they do, it's called the family and they just hang out, play sports together and talk about Jesus. And just like kind of slowly 
get everybody on the same Jesus page. And the, the whole thing. I, they'll bring the in whole Jews. Thing. I, went yeah. to, I, went, I went to one in New York, and it was... Uh, the prayer breakfast thing. So the national prayer breakfast, it's them. It's the family. But I, they don't have a name. They refuse to admit that they're even an organization. Correct. So There's the no thing, leadership. The, the thing yeah. that I went to was the same thing, where I was just like, oh, is this a country club? I was like, this is really nice. And they were like, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. you hang mm-hmm. out. And there was, everybody no drinking, was so no, polite. Yeah. They were like... We've got food. We've got yeah. this. Uh, there's, you can get a massage. You can have a, a steam. You can do anything you want. I was like, oh, man, this is great. And I, I kept saying, I was like, I never knew some, some place like this existed. But they don't mm. have like, there's no leader. They don't have any official leadership or anything like that. Everybody's meets together. And their thing is, it's like the Omerta with the, with the mafia. Uh-huh. Just don't talk to anybody. Don't, don't admit that the thing exists. Like it's, they, and there's all these recordings of them actually talking about it now that they've come out and started investigating. But uh, there's all these recordings like, hey, we work better in secret. It's not like we're trying to hide anything. It's just if people know that we're doing this stuff, it seems shady. So we just don't want them to know about it. That's their whole thing. Yeah, because I, I asked my, the, the guy who took me, who was a buddy of mine, what, what I thought was a buddy of mine at the time, right? And, and I was like, what is this? This is awesome, man. Because I was stoked on it. Everybody was so nice. And it was uh, the, in, the, the facility itself was amazing. And he was just like, man, just a bunch of like-minded dudes who were yeah. super positive. We were trying to just make something out of themselves. But and there's no... Like, and, they, and they help each other. There's you know, no, they were like, oh, they help yeah, each other. There's like, no, cool, man. Like, like, I got no backstory, no nothing. And, there is you know, no backstory from them. You'll never get one. Yeah. You'll never get one. And it's so... I mean, you watch the whole thing, right? Yeah. Like, it's... At no point does it come out that, oh, they're a bunch of fucking pedophiles or, oh, they're murdering people or, oh, they're doing this. Nobody has anything bad to say about them except for their tacit involvement in the Ugandan <laughs> kill the gays legislation. Yeah. Like they were somehow involved in that, but I don't think they were involved in writing it or anything. They were just kind of, they were around during that time they're period. They're just always around. There's nothing. It's so funny you say that. Because like, dude, I don't have anything bad to say about, like I was there for, I think four hours, right? I not it was amazing. Like, they, they I enjoyed the shit out of they it. They went to meet with some this I can't remember which country it was, but it was a king of an uh, sub-Saharan African country, and he was doing all this wild bullshit. The most brutal dictator in that country's history, apparently. And they went to talk to him, and it's like, hey, we're just here to fucking like this. There's there's eyewitness account of this shit. Like we're just here to fucking say, you know, that we love you and Jesus loves you. And the guy just started breaking down crying in front of him. Like, I don't know if this dude is like the second coming of Jesus or what the fuck was going on there, but he had this, uh, this incredible power over other people. And he was like, this is technically a violation of the Logan Act. Like the Logan Act, for those of you who don't know, is um, a piece of legislation that says no one in the United States can negotiate on behalf of the United States mm-hmm. except for the president or an emissary directly uh, sent by the president. So if you and I went over and started talking to the royal family of England, like, hey, you know, we'll do this for you, and then blah, blah, blah for, for the U.S., some kind of quid pro quo. illegal. Yeah, you will go to jail for that. Yes. As an unre- un- talking to an unregistered foreign agent. But if it's religion, it's a different story, right? They weren't doing anything. They, like, no shit, dude. Everybody that talks to them, including the people that are, like, uh, all over the Eastern Bloc, all these fucking leaders, senators, and parliamentary people, and, and fucking presidents of these countries are like, no, they didn't tell us to, anything about policy. We never talked about policy. They just said, hey, we're here to help. How can we help? How can I make your day better? Shit like that. It's fucking crazy. That's exactly shit. what I got. I got, and, I got stock tips. Yeah. I got a bunch of awesome stock tips. So it's this weird shit. And it's like, uh, like again, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, and I know you're not either, but you've seen this shit. This is real. Yeah, so, but I'm not. Yeah. What's it's the name of this group? group? They There's call themselves no, the family. The family. The family. And that's the name of the document. But not to be confused with the women's movie that came out this weekend where they're mafia. With that's the kitchen. Okay, good. God, just, yeah, uh, not to be confused. Want to clarify with that. it because yeah, it's very yeah, yeah. similar. Yeah, with uh, Melissa McCarthy and Tiffany Haddish as gangsters. You are were, waiting the whole time to be like, okay, but what? <laughs> what does this group think? Right, gonna lead to? Yeah, I thought and anytime there's something like that, it's like that Mister Rogers documentary, right? Where you're just, like, where that's what I thought. You're just waiting movie, like, yeah. oh man, this dude fucks kids. Oh, fucks kids. Yeah. Yeah. Fucks kids. Yeah. But no human being that exists has ever had a bad word to say about him. Yep. And no yep. one, no one, like even the guy that wrote the book about these guys and did the documentary was just like, yeah, I mean, they're definitely consolidating power and they're trying to hide it behind this whole Jesus thing. But he didn't even have anything no. damning to say about them. He had like great stories yeah, of it's, his time. It's the craziest there. shit. I don't and the have reason one I bad brought, word to say about the thing that I was at, my dick was out. Like, my dick was out in front of everybody because it was, you know, we just took a steam. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I just felt I felt comfortable, relaxed. It was a, a the reason facility. the reason I bring that all up. It's just dudes. It's just all dudes. Yeah, it's all always dudes. The women. Why is it always dudes? Like. So the guy that wrote the documentary goes into a bit. I think it's in the second episode. Well, they're it's, separated. Yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah. He, he goes into it then. He's like, it's all regimented. The whole, your whole day is like regimented. And you never see women until it's time for social events. And they are trained to be servants of men. So the whole idea behind this family is that they don't believe that the Bible was written for the masses. They think it was written for... They think Jesus was sent here to speak to people who could help influence leaders. They think Jesus was a revolutionary leadership figure. Like it's a, it's a twist on, they have a Bible and it's just the four gospels and it just says Jesus on the front of it. And ah. That's it. So they think that their position or their job is to influence these guys in a positive way. And when I say influence, I mean with not telling them to go like, hey, I think we should fucking invade Iran. None of that shit. Just to be a supportive influence on them. To identify people who are in power and support them. I like that. Like, it's fucking <laughs> like crazy, but it almost makes sense a little bit. The reason I brought that up is because I'm not a conspiracy theorist, and I don't believe in these cabals, but we now have proof that one definitely exists, and it's existed since 1935. In the United States, and nobody, including uh, anybody that was on this documentary, will admit that they've ever done anything wrong, and they have to have done something. But every right. the national prayer breakfast, every president since Eisenhower has been there. Yeah. You're every, right. every year, you're right. yeah, every, every year, year yes. you're since right. what 1953 or some uh-huh. shit. So my no theory shit. of like someone will always talk is just not no true because no even one's... this guy that's talking is not saying anything bad. Shit, uh, this has been an unbelievably fascinating episode. We're going to continue it, obviously, but uh, we got some sponsors who pay for this fucking thing to be on the air, um, which is crazy because we're just sitting here on a Saturday night getting drunk. But uh, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Um, look, I'm not saying that Epstein would still be alive if he was sleeping on one of these goddamn things in a cell, but maybe he would be. You never heard about anybody hanging themselves with a ghost bed. Not one you. single thing. And if you True. go on the website, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros, it is all reviews by people who listen to both shows, drinking bros and Ross Patterson revolution. No one has hung themselves on a ghost bed. It's too nice of a sleep. Yeah. No. You're not, you're not waking up out of that. They won't. Not at yeah. all. Um, but I got sheets, you know, I got sheets if you want to, uh, I've also got the finest pillows in the land. And if you're military or first responder, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today and, uh, get an extra 15% off at the bottom of the page. Boom, boom. Nobody's fucking doing that on the internet. No one, uh, 36 months pay as you go. No interest program. We love the ghost bed. Again, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros for all your mattress needs. If you're a regular human like myself, they got a, a shit ton of deals, including that $7.99 bundle package. Uh, next up, we got strikeforceenergy.com. Shabloinkers. Shabloinkers. You like that? Uh, oh, this is your first time on this with uh, Ross Patterson Revolution and, and Jabe's doing Shabloinkers. I like Strike Force. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely he doesn't did. like show blinkers. No, I'm into it. I'm into it. I'm into sure. it. I was a little surprised. Uh, I apologize. We don't have it on this set. Uh, this was, again, late Saturday night, last minute show. And uh, we hopped right in because the cameras and lights were already set up for the side for, for the next show. Um, so it's not here. Zero carbs, zero sugars. Uh, I'm having a Stradka as we speak. Strike Force and vodka. Finest energy drink in the biz. Go to strikeforceenergy.com. 10 pack, 40 pack, 750 milliliter bottle that rests on your bar top or countertop. You can just boom, boom, pop a couple squirts in and go. Go to strikeforceenergy.com. Use the promo code revolution for 20% off. James, what did you just grab off the wall there? I don't know. Oh, it's a nice little drink warmer. Is what it's that one is. of those wrist. I don't bracelets. think it's a drink warmer. Is Slap it? Drink Slap holder. it on your wrist. Slap it on your wrist. Back in the nineties. Yeah, do it. There it is. Oh, it yeah. is. Isn't that fun? It's a fun little. That is thing. a fun thing. Sometimes I, I don't, I don't know the name of that company. They sent in some bottle cap openers, and I the 
cards spilled out and it was raining and I think it ruined. Yeah, it's they make uh, like an M4 charging handle that's a bottle opener. They do. I can't remember the name of the company. God damn it, I can't. I either. think they're fans of ours, so just send in a fucking email and we'll shout you yeah, out. Yeah, we'll shout you out and we're sorry. I know it's up on the set here somewhere. It is. Next time, make a logo that actually has your name on it. Well, they did. Blammo. Oh, and you lost Blamo, Blamo, Blamo. You're a piece of shit. Blammo, 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 Blammo. When we first moved into these studios, it was like a fucking downpour for two weeks. And I got out of the car, all the shit fell, and like I lost, I don't know, a bunch of so stuff. So you're just going to blame everybody except for yourself. I'm going to blame it on the rain. Always. Blame it on the rain. Oh, I, just, I just got hard. Do you guys usually get hard on this show? All the time. Uh, yeah. I'm never yeah. not doing Kegels. I mean, you get a white on. You get a white on. I get a white on, too, you know? My butthole gets a Can you a get a wide. butt white on? Oh, yeah, shit, man. <laughs> you're gay. You can get a bite on. <laughs> bite it's on. a bite on. <laughs> or uh, a Biden. Yeah, or, or Biden. a Biden. I get a Biden. Oh, I it's like just, that. It's loose. It's we open. Can probably it's free. Make that it's happen. old. I think older. we can make the word Biden happen. I think we could. I think we could. Uh, last but not least... This is what you came for, straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Dan's already plugging his ears, by the way. And he's dead. Oh. Get out. Why are you in the back swing, guy? Yeah. I'm just, I'm doing my thing over You're here. You're in my front swing. Yeah. <laughs> You're my back. You're my- and in your front. <laughs> Get out of her front, Dan. Come on. Get, Get out, out of my front, front, front swing. Yard. Stupid kid. Oh, you racket. <laughs> 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 what was that, James? She's, been in, she's knows. been in the wine for several hours. I know. Right? It's late. <laughs> Her teeth are all stained red and shit. This is an emergency <laughs> episode that we're on. Uh, Straightrazors.com has got everything you need to be a real man in this life. Shaving pregnant bushes since 1935. Nope. Yep. Don't do that. Yep. You have. It's the When was that? The presidential breakfast was 1935. Straight razors been shaving bushes since 1935. 53. And it's not the presidential, it's... 35, 53. (laughs) National prayer breakfast. Dyslexia, shaving bushes, uh, trimming pubes, all of it. Taints, Taints, balls, butts, vaginas, boobs. Yeah. (laughs) Foreskin. Foreskin. I thought you were going to say Forrest Whitaker. No. Do you think he has trouble shaving because of that eye? Uh, Probably. I think Um, he's got to have two mirrors. Yeah. You know, where he's got to have a... Double looks. He's got a blind spot in there for sure. Wow. Yeah. Objects in the mirror are closer than they appear to Forrest, obviously. But uh, that's that's his problem on the side mirrors. Uh, go to straightrazors.com for all the loveliness we just gave them. You're the welcome. Whole products and their company. You're welcome. Blam, we oh, blam, oh, blam, oh, bloop, and bloop, and bloop. There it is, James. Um, I want to talk about what happened on Twitter today, Dan. Because when this story first broke with the Epstein thing, right? Um, and we, we might go the full fucking whole shebangy on this what do you mean on 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 epstein um when this broke well twitter's had a rough week they shut down mitch mcconnell's campaign account early this week correct because he posted a video that somebody else had made of people yelling profanity and threatening to kill him outside of his own home yes um and then it was blm actually that was doing it exactly and then today they got caught so when this happened uh, one of the hashtags was Clinton body count. Hashtag Clinton body count. Right. Somebody caught them removing it in a video, replacing it with Trump body count, even though it wasn't trending. And they just swapped it out at the same number, same thing, and sw- and swapped it in you there. You can't trust Twitter, you know. Well, you but you can't. Are you, you sure think, Twitter did that, or was it people? Who can you trust? That, that's, a, that's a great question. Do you so, remember Google bombing from back in the day? Do yeah. You know what that is? It's like a search engine optimization thing where if you. You can go out and create a bunch of websites and then like put the metadata a certain way where you can make you, you just run robo dialers. It's computers that are searching for phrases like stupid. Yep. And then you scroll down and find George Bush stupid mm-hmm. and you click that link and it makes it populate higher in the list. That's what people were doing. So here this you've you've given me the perfect segue. Okay. After this happened, everybody said, is this Twitter or yeah. is this Russian bots replacing it with other hashtags? So that way. You're bombing both sides, both parties, yeah. right? You're going right and left, fucking everything up for everybody. This, uh, that Joe Scarborough said this was a very Russian thing to do of killing Epstein as well. Yeah. All of this to me, it seems like Russia is probably the winner in all of this because they keep winning because it, it makes our country look like we're in chaos. It's full of conspiracy theories. Everybody's out I, to get each other. I, would have I think up. they made a huge misstep. And it's because... Russia or the media? Russia. Okay. I think... Here's why I think that. Because uh, Trump is Teflon. They, they thought that they could put a buffoon in office and just make fun of him all the time. But it turns out he doesn't give a fuck. 
Yeah. Like, he'll just keep saying shit. He doesn't care. Yeah. Nothing that anybody has said or done towards him is stuck, ever. For more during, than 48 hours. During the right. campaign or since he's been president. Correct. Nothing is stuck. And he's still polling high. He's actually polling at, like, 37% with black people, apparently, according to fucking... God, I have to look it up. Yeah, and, and his overall numbers are at 49, which yeah, is the, it's the crazy. same number as Obama yeah. at this point in his presidency. Yeah, it's so, so. stupid. Like, uh, I think they made a tragic misstep. And trying to come back after him now, that's why I don't know if it's Russia or not. They're usually pretty smart about their intelligence work. Uh, going after him, that's like, that's like throwing water at a chemical fire, man. It's just not going to work. Yeah. So I, I don't, I, I don't that, know if I would say Russia and China, maybe, because they went. Having lack of confidence in Trump will destabilize the American economy, and that's good for China sometimes. It is, especially it, with the tariffs that are going yeah. on. Yeah. It's qui bono. Who benefits? I don't think Russia benefits from trying to go after Trump. I, I really don't. I think, it, I think they benefit more. Look, look, if Trump goes out of office all of a sudden in and, and 2021 in January, there is going to be massive investigations into Russian involvement immediately. Yeah. Like the entire executive branch, if a Democrat wins, is going to start focusing on Russia. They don't want that. So if anything, I think they would be, even if, I don't think Trump was involved with Russia in a direct way or anything. Like why, he doesn't care about that bullshit. He's a fucking billionaire. He has too much ego to be like, oh yeah, I need Russia to win. No, he's like, I'm going to win. Like he's always thought that. Yeah. Right. So I think it's more likely China that would be doing this. Okay. But I do think it's bots because it's easy to do. Search engine optimization on a on a that's what I think too. On and a I, site and like I, that I, would be we've super talked easy. about this in our show. I think half of this shit is bots, uh, especially on Twitter when you're a- able to manipulate. When something the, stupid is trending that you're like, what? Yeah. Like who made that like, happen? Trump resigned now has been probably eight, ten times this month, and I'm like, you know, on like a Sunday morning when nobody's up, when you're like, man, what the f- what the fuck is this? Yeah. Like, and nothing's even going on. Do you entertain the possibility, because this is another conspiracy, that this is another country doing this, or do you think it's just, hey, man, Twitter is just Twitter, and this is what's going on right now? Um, I, d- I think, I mean, I think it's actually proven that another country is doing that, right? Oh, well, I mean, it would be hard to track this particular one back. No, but- not this one, but it's <clears throat> been proven already that other, that they're messing with the... Oh, yeah, for sure. And yeah. I think it's so easy to do. I don't it. know if that one's so much of a... Like conspiracy here's, is, here's what we know like, everybody's talking about russian involvement in the last election they spent about a hundred thousand dollars on ads on facebook yeah. on yeah, facebook yeah. that's nothing that's nothing spending a hundred thousand dollars to pay a bunch of fucking uh eastern Bloc dissidents to sit in rooms and click links all day yeah you could spend a hundred thousand dollars doing that and affect the election way more I mean, than they you pay ever could people buy ads. to do amazon reviews yeah so I don't trust anything anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Do you know what I mean? So uh, the, the, here's, and here's the oddest thing I find about it, because, again, this is we're doing this late on a Saturday night. He just killed himself this morning. Mm-hmm. One hundred twenty one thousand oh. tweets. It, yes. Epstein murder. Hashtag Epstein murder. One hundred twenty one thousand tweets. Right. It is. There is not one topic of Epstein trending on Twitter right now. I'm looking at the NXT takeover, which is, it appears to be a WWE, a wrestling <laughs> event. And I don't that's know number what one. That is. That's Didn't serious. you say? I thought you said and Epstein look, was trending huge. like every. He was. Every he was trending yeah, all yeah. 20 topics? Yeah, yeah. All day. And then uh, Aquino for uh, uh, Aristides Aquino for the Cardinals is trending. I mean, I think the algorithms. Algorithms switch over, right? No. Velveteen Dream is tend to, like Chiefs Kingdom. Yes, the Chiefs are playing a preseason game right now, but um, I, I find it hard to believe with a story this big that all of a sudden magically it's just wiped, right? That no one's talking about it on on Twitter for it to trend. I see. I'm seeing uh, Demon Slayer hashtag Epstein murder. I'm seeing 121,000 tweets right now. Same, but it's not trending. So I'll, I'm going to go through the top 20 right now. Okay. Just right now at this, at this point in time. Okay. We got, uh, again, the, the WWE thing. Fine. Aquino for the, the Cardinals or the Cubs versus Reds. All right. Uh, hashtag the 80s cold and uh, hashtag summer impact. Candice is trending. Velveteen dream. Get well soon. Ki um. Ki um. I don't know who that is. It's got to be Asian. Chiefs Kingdom, uh, Low Sheree, Demon Slayer, Morrow, Street Profits, Bar. Now, that, that's, that's the only one out of this at number 13, Bar, that has any involvement into this. And we're obviously talking about the Department of Justice on this. Um, yeah, he's the AG. Right. So, uh, the Attorney General. Um, 
that is the only thing that is still trending out of this is Barr. And the only thing that he put out today was a, a three sentence statement that said, hey, man, I'm appalled by this and we're going to check into it and all this other shit. Right. So out of everybody, it was Trump's guy that's still trending. Uh, Austin theory. I don't know what that is. Um, ah, it's a, it's a wrestler. Austin Theory. <laughs> now I seem like an asshole because I don't know WWE. Um, I think that's okay, right? Hardman, Montez Ford, Lance Armstrong is trending, which is awesome. Why? Um, Why, though? Glad you asked because he wrote a tweet that said, I smoked Pence on my bike today. I can't drop a lot of people on my bike, but it was really nice that I could smoke Pence. I guess he, he rode by... Vice President Mike Pence on a bike today, and like by his it's, was was blew Pence, by him. like in a Pence race? on a bike or was yeah Pence was on a bike. Well, bicycle. he's sixty. Yeah, that's exactly. God damn it! Why is this trending? Uh, he Liam will Hemsworth, never not be ridiculous. The Uniballer. Um, that's that's Lance. Armstrong. Lance, yeah, he's he cannot get it together. Liam Hemsworth and then Gargano, which I'm sure is probably some other wrestler, but that n- nothing on this story anymore. Gone. I mean, what more is there to say at this point? To me, the, like there's this, nothing else more. Again, out. biggest conspiracy there is. Everybody's fighting over this online. Every other news outlet is all over this. And it's not trending. It's not even close to trending here. And you, and you don't think that has anything to do with politics or, or hiding any of this shit. I, me personally, I do. But again, I'm, I'm more to, I believe in this shit. Yeah. I, b- I believe more into these conspiracy theories than everybody else does. Yeah. You allow the space in your brain. Yeah. So for that to happen. <laughs> I always do. I always do. So I'd say what, we'll, we'll wrap this up tonight with what do you think is the outcome out of this and what's going to happen, Dan? Oh, man. I don't know. Um, the outcome is, I, we were talking about this offline earlier, but here's what I think. If, if Trump knows that he didn't actually fuck an underage girl. Like if he's confident about that. Epstein? No. Or that, Trump. If, if Trump, Trump knows yes. that if Trump knows that Trump did not do anything that's that agreed, if he was just hanging out with a guy, because now so many people have been photographed hanging out with this dude, mm-hmm. that yeah. that's not enough. Like you have to have something more than that. Right. And if he like honestly, Trump could go look at all these docs right now if he wanted to. Like he could send one of his aides to right? pick him up and he wouldn't know if there's any evidence out there about him. If he either knows that there's no evidence or knows that he n- never really did anything that's that bad. I'm using every bit of that power. One, I'm, one, I'm protecting the documents because like I said before, Russia and China are, are going to be coming after those like it's the last fucking meal on earth. Yeah. And they should be. It makes sense for them to be doing it. Like you get leverage over a lot of American biz- businessmen and politicians. Um, but if I'm Trump and I know that I'm not involved in this shit, I am fucking going full on J. Edgar Hoover style. And I'm sealing all these documents and I'm keeping them and I'm fucking starting to boot people out of office left and right. So let me, let me, let me turn it on you this way then. Don't you think if he did that, a lot of American people would say you have something to hide because you're sealing these documents? Maybe, yeah. Maybe. But, but if he doesn't, as we've seen before, he doesn't care. He'll just do what he needs to do. But so, so let's say this, Jesse. They, they've got something on the Clintons, mm-hmm. right? He's got the documents. They've got something on the Clintons. Don't you think releasing it to the public and having it come out would certainly help his candidacy for 2020? Mm, would he go that extreme, though? <laughs> Donald Trump? Are you kidding me? You seen his hair? He'll do anything. I don't know what Scorched else is. Earth. I don't know what else is in there, and what else like other victims' Look, proof, rights and bullshit like that. Right? There, there's a struggle going on in the Democratic Party right now between the New Age progressive people and the old, the blue dog. You can say socialist. I don't, the think they're, I don't think they're socialists because I don't think they know what socialism is. Like, I honestly don't think they understand the concept of socialism. I think they're really stupid. I don't think Bernie's a socialist. He's a democratic socialist, which is, I know that's a, for some, a semantic difference. Yeah. Almost pedantic even, but it's not. It's a, there's a huge difference there. He, he just, like, what, we, what he talks about as democratic socialism is just FDR-style big government bullshit, and a lot of conservatives don't like it, and that's fine. Don't like it. But let's not say that it's socialism because it's not the same thing. First, secondly, secondly, as Tobias Funke would say, <laughs> one of my heroes, by the way, uh, <laughs> a fictional character from Arrested Development. 
Yeah. Is one of your personal heroes. Yes. Oh, God. God. <laughs> um, uh, second I'll get part, a puppet for you after the show that well, I'd like to, for you to talk to. As long as he's uh, r- part of the royal family, <laughs> we'll do that. Um, the, second, the second part of that is there's this huge struggle going on between the old and new and the Democratic Party. And everybody, including old Democrats, know that socialism, as everyone likes to fucking call it now, it's not really socialism, but they know that the AOCs and the fucking Bernies probably can't win a general election as president. And I think they're right. There's no fucking way. Um, so if Trump is able to take down the old dogs, the, the center left people like Clinton, if he can take them down and that whole party and everybody associated with him with a piece of information, he will yeah, fucking, he right. will go to a 10 point minimum victory in 2020. Yeah. And the, right. the interesting part about this was AOC today called for, <laughs> she said, this is all bullshit. And I want to know what the fuck happened. Up oh there. yeah. If I'm a progressive Democrat right now, I'm on the conservative side. I'm like, Hey, let's get the Clintons fucking balled up and out of here. Yeah. Like for sure. Like, if I'm one of these new people, if I'm Buttigieg or AOC or any of these people. Because that effectively as, ends their party, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, 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 it kills not just the Clintons and Biden and the center left people, just all that, that whole group of people, but it also kills the donors who have kept them alive for all these years. Right. Through the Clinton Foundation, through PACs and all this other stuff. Those people have to either hide and fuck off from politics for a while because they're not going to go for this progressive shit. That's just not going to happen because it's going to cost their businesses money over time they're not going to do it so they either have to go right or what i don't know what the other option is yeah uh what, do, what about you jesse what do you what do you got in this what um, do you think happens i think s- possibly something with this gal either Maxwell? she yeah either she kills herself the too madam. either she suicides herself uh, as Arkansas, well by the way was trending today oh yeah i like yeah. that too yeah. For the um or they somehow find a loophole or another way to go back to her case and get the files unsealed that way. But um, you think, so you think all these people get outed then? I think eventually. Uh, Je- Je- look, Jesse, you make a you make. I a think I think there's a couple ways it. to get to to get to that. You know, they're not there's. I, yes, okay. is the eyewitness testimony without corroboration from, uh, from a prostitute. And I know that sounds harsh because this one was clearly yeah. put into positions. Yeah. I'm talking about the main, the chief plaintiff here. Yeah. Like she was clearly taken advantage of and abused yeah. for years. I'm not, I don't think there's anything wrong with her that I could tell. She just like got taken advantage of. But when it goes to court or a grand jury or anything, they're going to be like, this is some stupid kid that got in, involved in some shit that was way over her head. All they have to do is have two or three people that are on that list, like Prince Andrew and a couple of these other people, like, hey, this, she said for sure that she was 18. She told me that. And I, this whole thing goes away, dude. I don't, I don't think, I think this whole thing goes away, but for the opposite reason. I think they, they pay her money. That is it. We never hear from her again. And uh, the, the other portion of this, of everyone else that's left over, this is my guess, and I'll look in the camera for this one. Get your fucking popcorn ready. I guarantee you, I've been right about this, this whole entire thing so far. I guarantee you, somebody comes after these fucking documents, um, dumps them out for everyone to see, because yeah. exa- exactly like you said earlier, a few minutes ago, there's too many powerful businessmen, there's too many powerful politicians caught up in this. I don't think it'll be our own government. I think it'll be somebody else's unless it's Clinton who's tied up in this. And then, yes, I think Trump goes full fucking bone. Yeah. If he's not involved in it, they dump out all the documents. Uh, same with like WikiLeaks and all that other shit. Uh, they let everybody else sort it out. This becomes another fucking me too thing. Um, they go after all these fucking people. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if it's like that, I go back to what Chappelle said about the me too movement, which is like the only way to move on from this is just for everybody to say what they did. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Like seriously, like otherwise you can be exploited or people yeah. can come after you later. Like, look, just use that, use ignorance. I didn't know. I didn't know they were underage. So here's, here's like, the, nobody got killed. Here, right? Here's the caveat to, to all of what I just said. If, if there is some other people that are involved in these documents that Trump or anybody in the current administration does not want out and you're able to get this footage out 
of Epstein hanging himself yeah. in his cell by himself, then you throw that fucking footage out there immediately, get out ahead of this and say, hey man, the guy fucking killed himself. There was no conspiracy. There's nothing to look into, nothing to see here. After what we just went through with Russia for the last three years and fucking Congress. Hey guys, we're not going down another fucking rabbit hole of conspiracy shit. I think Let's we should get on though. with the election and, and, and move on. But if there isn't, and they come out and say, hey, man, the footage was off, like we read today. Yeah. The footage was off. The guards got switched. He was taken off a suicide watch. If they start investigating into this shit, I think it's bulls on parade. And good luck for the next fucking two or three months. And if Trump's not in it, he's golden. The rest of these people can eat a bag of dicks, and including Republicans who have. Yeah. I, I don't know who Bill Richardson. I don't know what side he was on, to be honest with if you. If he was the governor of New Mexico, New Mexico he's yeah. probably... Uh, Democrat. Okay. That's a blue state. So uh, look, I think it's bulls on parade for, for all these fucking people, but the, whether or not they release this footage and get ahead of this story will tell you everything you need to know. In my opinion, if the footage comes out of him in the cell, then that's it. And great. We're moving on with the rest of our lives. There's too many people involved in this shit and we're not going down a, a rabbit hole right before the election yeah. and, and trying to get all these Republicans and, and all, everything caught up in it. Because I, I feel like right now, if you're sitting in where Trump is sitting, you have a great economy. Everything's going relatively positive. And, and then you have a bunch of weak candidates yeah. on the Democratic side. Why even stir up the pot on this fucking shit? Get out ahead of it. Release the tape of him hanging himself. And then end this conversation so you don't start digging into the rest of this shit. If not, though... Congratulations. I don't know. I think uh, Trump is an agent of chaos, to be honest. I don't know if, if, if he's not implicated. I don't think uh, there's any question that he's going to start investigating and releasing shit, to be frank. I, I just think it uh, – and honestly – maybe. But if he's not involved and if he is – yeah. If he's not is what I'm saying. And I, if, I'm, I if I'm the kind of – if I'm one of those people that is like a, a, I want money out of politics, that's my goal in life. Like, I feel like that's the thing that I need to be. I'm super excited right now um, because this might be the only time in American history where it's actually possible to do it because all these, look, Epstein is involved in everything. Mm -hmm. And the more, the, the broader people get exposed and the more people go down, it, it's like, uh, God, what's that fucking movie with Christian Bale where he's in a dystopic future? You know what I'm talking about? No idea, Dan. Equilibrium. It Remember is. that? So yep. they're all Never on. seen it. It's a great movie. They're all on this drug, and it dampens your emotions, so everybody's just like roboting around. And the underground are like, all we got to do is stop this for one day, like mm -hmm. interrupt the drug so people get off it for one day, then they'll start feeling shit, and they'll see like, oh, this is fuck. We got to do something. And I think this is an opportunity where if all these big fucking don donors from these big-ass companies and their involvement in politics gets seen not – as money, because people with Citizens United, you saw it. People were okay with businesses spending money to influence elections, clearly, but not fucking children. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's going to be the straw that breaks the camel's back. And honestly, if I'm a crusader on that and I have access to these documents, I'm throwing them to WikiLeaks. Because that would be the biggest thing that's ever happened in this country. Yeah, I, I agree. And, and to me personally, my Rostradamus prediction is that is what is going to happen. And there's going to be endless amounts of these fuckers. And it's going to be very reminiscent of the Me Too movement where it felt like day after day after day we were learning yeah. something new and something else was out there. If Trump isn't involved, if he is involved, I think they show that tape of Epstein yeah. hanging himself. And they're like, hey, nothing to see here. We're all packing up the circus and moving along. So uh, now's the point in the show where we get to the revolutionary figure of the day. D'Anthony, you're wearing him. I'm wearing him. Yep. We uh, gave him a shout out on Drinking Bros. Bebo Russell, James, Sky King, rest in peace, Sky King. Do you still think about him? I do, actually. Yeah. Is that weird? I think about his state of mind. I think about, like, how the, just the balls. I think about his balls. Wow. His just metaphoric. You know what I'm saying? So you're the real ones. No, I, to look, just I get fucking it. do that and the, the weird thing be so is, calm about it. So the weird, the weird thing is, I got a message from one of our listeners who said, "Hey man, I know you're probably going to talk about the Epstein thing. Don't forget about Bebo Russell." And I was like, "I'm not going to." Smart. 
two different suicides for two totally different reasons. Right. And such a different vibe. Yeah. And I want to I, I want to clear it up with the audience. We are we are not pro suicide no, whatsoever. So no, 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 uh, no, no. Look, that's what Drinking Bros is founded on. So if you're having a problem, come to Drinking Bros, obviously. Bebo Russell, though, was, you know, he went out the way he wanted to go out. It felt like. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh. Um, so we're wearing these honorary t-shirts for, for Bebo today. I love it, you little dum-dums. Yeah. Dan, you oh, are a you big little fan. little matching dum-dums. Look, man, uh, you know, go out with a question mark. That's what I always say. Actually, that's, uh, there's a comedian that does that bit. But he, Steal it from him and, and call it your own. No, it's, he, he said, like, if you're... If you really want to kill yourself, do something crazy. Like he, his idea was to get on top of the Empire State Building and then put a glass of water on the sidewalk and then try to dive into it. But your suicide note was that you were a stunt man and you were actually trying to do it. And people were like, "Wait, wait, I'm what? sorry, I didn't what? even was know trying, that about him." He was trying yeah. to dive into a fucking glass of water <laughs> from 180 of stories. More up. More questions like, yes, than answers like yeah. is what you want to like leave. That. I can't remember what, who the guy was. I can Big hear fan. It. Mine is on a flight, and then if I die, bury me inside the Gucci store, and that way that right. James has to live with that. Because mm-hmm. then you have to debate about whether well, or not it was you serious. Kill yourself on the. Well, not I'm not I'm not killing, I'm not oh, killing oh, myself, oh. but the, like a plane goes down. Oh, okay. So that wasn't the question. But. Well, it could be if if I had to, but we've entertained <laughs> that on this show. We've entertained this on the show. If I, if I if I was going to, obviously, it'd be pills, right? Mexico Resort. Prosties, right. you know, right. the whole thing. Sure, right. sure, sure, sure. Uh, Prosties. Puppets. Big time. Prosties with Big puppets. Prosties Prosties with puppets. Gotcha. Now that Prince Andrew is into puppetry, this could open it up opens a, whole a whole new sexual world for people. Damn. Yes. I mean, there's already a lot of uh, those furries are running around everywhere these they days. They are. We're not going to. I don't. Now Does that make you really uncomfortable? Puppets. I just. That's going to start a whole nother thing. And I think oh, we need to go. She just watched Chicken this. Wings is all this is. <laughs> this is going to start a whole <laughs> fucking... I could go on and on about furries, to be honest with you. Yes, you could. Um, but hey, by the way, I have a, a new name for the female podcast if Jesse ends up doing it. Two Hot Wings. Hot I think, Wings. I think it should be Two Hot Wings. And it'll just be a wing review, basically. Wait, what was that attorney at law thing we came up with? Uh, gash and Gash. Gash and Gash. gash. <laughs> attorney at law. Attorney at law. <laughs> I'm a big fan of both of those. So write, write us, let us oh, know. Uh, subscribe to Ross Patterson Revolution on YouTube. Uh, and, and watch the video show uh, live on a Saturday night. Jabe's proud of you for staying up this late. I can't believe it. Yeah, I you, can't either. You don't party. I party. Yeah. I party. I'm super good at alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, you're going you're gonna to pull out a puppet on someone and not have a feeling. I'm thinking about it now. <laughs> yeah, I, need to, I mean, I don't have any. We need to get him a puppet. We'll if you, a puppet. You, I've got a Winnie the Pooh one. Will that do you? Yeah, it will. I don't think so. No. If you're grabbing a tip. I don't think so. If you're you got to try. Poo, yeah, I think you're good. You Poos can don't have uh, fingers on them. They, you don't use the fingers, mouth. use the it's mouth. It's a mouth, dude. No, no, no. I'm working the hands. Oh, you're doing oh. like a rock and You want like a Topo Gijo type yeah. of thing. Yeah. 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 I'm not fucking around here. Oof. That's gross. Now I understand, Jesse. Don't kink shame me. Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Dan Holloway, thank you for joining us. Yeah. Uh, for Jesse Wiseman, I am Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs>